So here we have the glorious SSSR Labs SM630AWS. <laughs> This module is an analog non-linear wave shaper with voltage control gain and symmetry in selectable modes with these three colours of shaping. We have the drive control, symmetry control, a dry wet and attenuators for your drive CV input and your symmetry CV input. We have input, drive and symmetry CVs, an always 100% wet output and the dry wet blended output. Now this is the first SSSR Labs collaboration between SSSR Labs themselves and Vyacheslav Gregoriev. Apologies if I say those names wrong. And the module is inspired by the harmonic wave shaper section of the Soviet monophonic keyboard synthesizer, the Alyssa 1377. Hence its name, AWS, the Alyssa Wave Shaper. The circuit partially resembles the original schematic but goes way beyond that and adds voltage control as well. The principle of operation is that we've got a folding VCA with voltage controlled balance of the differential stage followed by two non-linear processing stages emphasising a small non-linear window near the zero crossing region. And the colour switch adds a special feedback loop inside the circuit and a filtering stage which ends up with three different sounding and working modes. So that's the description, those are the features, let's see how this thing sounds. So here we've got a kind of full patch setup that we're going to get into, but let's just start by actually listening to this thing. The green trace on the bottom of the Mordax data is my input from Kotelnikov. Now these are scaled differently so the amplitude on screen is larger, they are both the same level coming in and out. This AWS is currently dry. Let's move over to fully wet. I'll turn up the drive. And symmetry, these are very interactive. Symmetry in the middle, let's turn that drive up again. Symmetry you can think of like a pulse width modulation that goes to zero when you pulse width modulate a square wave some oscillators let you do that to the point they cut off you can see and hear that nearly does and actually does cut off to the right on here so even at low drives get pulse width modulation over the whole wave. This was colour 2, let's go back to colour 1. Colour 2 again. Colour free. And remember, this is just a deep sine wave. The dry wet blend allows us to get harsher tones. And then mix that dry back in. I have some looping envelopes into the two CV inputs. The first for drive CV. So let's check that out. It's a great sounding wave shaper. And 
And there's a range of tones in here, quite a massive range as well. Now with that drive all the way down, it does cut off. This is the internal gain of the VCA to the folding and distortion circuit. So we can use it, it's like a VCA. I'm gonna play around with my modulation shape. work really well at audio rates, but we'll get into that later. Fully wet, let's modulate symmetry. You can hear it's like a much more wide, tonally ranging PWM. Mix that in with the drive CV. It's a really cool sounding shaper. We also get the fully wet out, as you saw earlier in the video. Now I have this going through another chain with some filtering and some reverb. So it's great to take that wet out into another chain in your patch. And then you've got the dry wet blend and the all wet slightly differently processed blend. It's really easy to get a lot of movement and quite creative patching. Let's try a different wave at the input. Say a ramp. Some really rich, deep folding and saturation. go with this wave, this is fully dry. Different colours on the switch, it's a fantastic wave shaper. Let's get a little sequence going. So modulating the wavetable on the Kotelnikov, then the drive and the symmetry on the AWS, they're a fantastic pairing. So we heard how this sounds on a simple waveform and some of the Kotelnikov wavetables. Let's check this out on drums. Now here's my dry drum loop, completely dry. Already some colour and character. Let's see what level of saturation, fuzzy folding and awesome distortion that this can offer. That's really cool where it cuts out because we can still blend that dry in and just use this as an accent. Dial that symmetry back and it's going to affect everything. So it's just oozing character. Let's try modulating this drive and CV with some looping envelopes. So there's this push and pull and movement to it now. And even really subtle amounts of the wet blended in. Just adding this life and modulation to this loop. Let's try audio rate modulating the symmetry. We we'll use Katelnikov for that. Some 
really cool interaction around that low end tail in the bass drum. Almost like there's an LFO in there somewhere. So just as with synth waves, it's great at processing drums for lots of different filth, folding and feedback characters on that switching. So the Alyssa Wave Shaper isn't just for audio, it can work wonders on CV as well. I have this green trace showing the input to the AWS, and this is one slow LFO that's going to slowly rise and fall, mixed with a faster LFO, which is these kind of ripples in the LFO that you can hear. This is currently entirely dry. The blue trace is, as it has been through the video, the output. This is scaled up a bit on the data. Let's play around with wave folding, shaping, and distorting these LFOs. Blending in a bit of the dry just helps kind of retain that original shape a little bit. And I'm going to take the fully wet output and patch it back into the CV inputs for some internal feedback style effects to mangle these shapes even further. So that's just a quick taste of processing LFOs. You can throw sequences into this, LFOs, envelopes, mixes of all of those, create more complex modulation shapes. They're always really fun and interactive through the AWS. So let's check out the AWS processing a simple bass riff, typical saw wave into a filter, then into the AWS, and also explore some audio rate modulation. But first, here's my dry synth riff. Nothing too exciting, basic short loop. And let's just play around with the AWS. Now even subtle settings just give it this certain mojo and character. great for blending in. Just this extra dimension. Let's go a bit heavier with the processing. It works great. Now let's explore some audio rate modulation here as well. And we'll start with the drive CV. I'm just moving the rate of audio rate modulation. Let's get my audio rate modulation source tracking pitch. Let's try audio rate modulation of a symmetry. Again, 
again, we'll get that tracking pitch. So that's the Alyssa Wave Shaper, AWS SM630. Gregoriov series module. Again, I hope I've said that right, from SSSR Labs. Be sure to go check out my video with the Kotelnikov, which is equally awesome. And subscribe, hit like, comment. Feel free to ask any questions. Go support me on Patreon if you'd like extra content. There's bonuses for those guys over there. And thanks for watching.